In a prior video, we showed you the Emerson White Rogers Sure Switch, what's in the box, and a little bit about how it works. And today we're going to show you replacing a standard one plus pole style contactor with the Emerson Sure Switch. In this video, I'll show you how to install the Sure Switch. First, disconnect power. Once you've done that, verify the power is off by checking the voltage from leg to leg and from leg to ground as a safety test. These are going to be our 24 volt inputs because we're installing this on a typical air conditioning system. This could also be 120 volts, 208 volts, or 240 volts if we use the other side. Because we're doing this as 24 volts, we're going to leave this one covered with the red cap. We're going to connect 24 volts here and here. This is our line side, and this is our load side, as the sticker shows. This is the one plus connection, which is the same as the connection between these two. And this is the load, and this is the line. Where possible, use existing holes when mounting the contactor. I found two here that will fit nicely. These are our low voltage coil connections. Now we need to grab enough slack here to get our line and load connections. I like to remove the sticker and set it right below the line and load so the other technicians know which one's which after installing line and load. Now because this is number 12 wire, we're going to use the torque settings for number 12 wire. The chart shows that torque for 10 to 14 wire is 35 inch pounds. So I'm going to set my torque screwdriver to 35 inch pounds and torque appropriately. Once we're all wired up and properly torqued, we're ready to test the new Sure Switch. We can put the disconnect back in and restore power. The Sure Switch is energized by the line voltage power to the condenser and not just the 24 volt power like you'd see on a typical contactor. Here, the rapid flashing light indicates a start delay. We want to check our incoming voltage to make sure it's correct. We've got 212 volts on the line side, and that's normal because this is a 208 volt power structure. Because our control voltage is 24 volts, this red terminal cover is in place over the 120 and 240 volts. So again, we have 208 volt high voltage and 24 volt control voltage. When this comes on, we want to test our compressor and condenser fan amperages. Now we can press and hold the test button for one second and it will go into a five second test mode. As you can see, the fan is running. When the light goes solid, the Assure switch is officially energized and the system is operating. Again, the Sure Switch has brownout protection, short cycle protection, intermittent start time for multiple systems, and multiple voltages, as well as five times the regular operational life, a cycle counter, and sealed contacts to protect from ants and other insects. Once the Sure Switch is in place, we can affix the sticker. In this case, it could go right by the Sure Switch, but I'm going to put it inside the panel where there's more space. To retrieve the compressor cycle count, you press and hold the count button for one second. Each flashing color corresponds to a certain number of cycles. A yellow flash represents 100 cycles, red represents 1000 cycles, and green represents 10,000 cycles. Here you can see how easy it was to install and test the White Rogers Sure Switch on a real air conditioning system. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, Subscribe to the channel and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.